welcome. This is my first tutorial in Blender. Today I am going to be basically adding images as planes uh, to this project and using that there to project these decals onto uh, this missile I've been working on. So it's very simple. Um, you're only going to be using a modifier and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. A modifier and your brain really. So, first of all, go to Edit, go to Preferences, go into Add-ons. This might not show up in the video, but you want to go into Add-ons, then you're going to search for Import Images Plane, and uh, then uh, make sure that there's ticked. So once you've done that there, what I'm going to do is hide these here, then go to File, uh, if I see that, Import, and now you should see Import Images as Planes, Go into the image you've already created for this one. I'm going to use this here image. Uh, it's going to. It might look like this for you. Um, just make sure you have viewport shading turned on, and then it'll come or uh, it'll come up this here. Uh, it'll, <laughs> it'll come up like this. So you're going to want to go into probably orthographic view and go to the position you wanted then you're going to want to select this as the object add modifier and you're going to want to add a pardon me uh, my mind just went blank there <laughs> uh, you're going to want to add a shrink wrap modifier and the target is going to be the object you want the decal to be on so you select the target. Now it's going to look like this here that's pretty uh, simple to fix. I'm going to use a very fast and easy method just to get this uh, working. There's a couple of methods for doing this but you'll see. So go into edit mode, right click subdivide and subdivide it one more time. Probably too many subdivisions but uh, it serves a purpose, a visual purpose at least. So it's going to look a bit like this. This is not really what you want. Kind of getting there but not just yet. So there's a couple of things you could do. You could add an offset which would allow you to have it like that but we're going to add one better. So. We're going to take away the offset for a sec, go into mode and go to project. So at this here point we're going to only worry about positive and negative and offset. Uh, you're, depending on what direction your object is, it's either going to project this way or this way. Um, and that'll be negative and positive. So we for this object are wanting negative because it's behind it. So what it's going to do is project onto this here. Still not looking 100% correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the offset there. So this here has projected this decal. Technically it's not, um, you're projecting the, you'll see, so you're projecting the mesh onto it. Um, that's why we've subdivided it so that it can wrap around here and then the offset obviously is how far the mesh is away from the body. So I like to use just a 0 0.01 for the mesh but you can uh, get it closer or further away depending on your um, ideas. So a couple of things you can do with this. You can scale it depending obviously on how your mesh is built and your uh, this here section is built, how many subdivisions it has. You can also move it and have it like this. So it'll have, it will uh, form to any surface and it's the easiest and probably fastest way I've found of doing it. Um, there are a few other methods but this is the most non-destructive method and that I can find. And that's pretty much it. I hope you like it. Uh, I, as I said, I'm new here, so um, any feedback would be much appreciated. And yes, um, I forgot to also take off positive. 